morning Pisces, this is Shah speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to the channel and if, you, if, just len if you're new and you've just found or landed on this page then welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified because it's changed you've got three choices so make sure you hit it on all otherwise you won't be notified uh, as I go live three times a week Monday, Wednesday and Friday and I give away free cards and I'm also here to answer questions that are supported by a donation, super chat or super sticker. And welcome to my cyber angels. Thank you very much for your loyalty and your likes and shares. Well, I, like I said, the most liked video will be the first and that was <coughs> Virgo with 137 likes and the second was Taurus oh sorry cancer and then Taurus and you are <coughs> um, the tenth per, uh, zodiac sign so with your likes and I got 26 likes thank you for all your likes and your thumbs up and if you would like to be first and then go into the race with more likes and shares. I'm using the um, Shadowlands and I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot, two of my favorite decks at the moment. I've got a lot of new cards and I love them. Also the Crystal Oracle and my, of course, my Angel Feather. Now I use this spread um, in my extended readings and if you would like to have an extended reading one-on-one -on -one, then please look for the details below in the description box or click on that white circle in the top right hand corner I believe it is and it will also take you to the website there you can see all the offers and choices that you can have with readings um, I will be adding also an other sort of reading, so please go to the website and find out. Now, this is Monday, this is Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. This is the Queerin card. I'm just pretending I'm sitting opposite you. Um, all the overall energy as it is a general reading. Then we have the Crystal card and the Angel Feather card. So, let's get started. The first card, sorry, the first card is you, of course, and that's the querent. And you might have a lot of energy this week, or coming week. Or you might be meeting a King of Wands. The King of Wands is Aries, but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius. This man knows what he wants, and he's very logical, um, and he's very strategic. He has passion for everything he does and he, go, he goes into action boom 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 he's very fast but he is um, very strategic so he will think about what he does okay I find that the fire signs are a lot like the air signs but the air signs are more um, spontaneous in taking action they sometimes don't stop to think although they stand for wisdom this man will st be strategic. This could be a man um, uh, very good at war. That's why he wins. And he wins because he uses his uh, strategy and experience of how to get into action and what to do at the right time. <coughs> so you might meet this man. It could be that he could be a uh, tax uh, officer or he could be a bookkeeper he could be uh, a builder anything that is practical and uh, ha needs action and fast action at that okay he's also a passionate so if you do um, come together as a couple then make sure that you know your boundaries and their boundaries and let them know what your boundaries are otherwise you'll get burnt out because action 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 and creativity they'll create they'll be a they're able to create a solution because they're very creative in their ideas and ways 
so make sure you don't burn out and you just have a lot of fun. Take rest when needed. He is actually very good and great to have as an ally, especially if you ear are uh, protecting yourself or fighting a case or a cause. As you have the justice card and the justice card means that you might be in a, in a legal situation or a judicial situation or you don't even have to be in a ju judicial situation like I said he can be a bookkeeper you might be doing your tax returns and he'll be very creative and getting being able to get money back from the tax office because he's found a loophole that's great that could also be a Libra uh, as the justice card stands for Libra and you've got number 11 which is a two which will bring you back into balance the angels have your back the angels are giving you a porthole to step through so if you are out of balance you will find balance use your wisdom look at the little owl at the top of the tree so be wise and like the air signs they also stand for wisdom. I hadn't even realized there was justice and that there is an air sign when I was talking about the uh, ones being the s nearly the same uh, or having similarities with the air signs. So we've got Aries and we have Libra. So the and, and um, although the air, air signs stand for wisdom, if they need to use their wisdom because they're always eager to learn the air signs then they will ponder and they will take a, a page out of the King of Wands book and be logical, be strategic <coughs> sorry <coughs> be strategic and they will find a loophole in the law so that you will get a justice and a return on your money Okay, great news. Now on Wednesday you might be very dreamy and you might not be aware of what is happening around you. As you've got the Four of Cups, you've got four good foundations, steady. So there is a s something happening and it will bring you back into balance and give you proper foundations. There will be something on offer and you're not seeing it. Usually in the traditional tarot cards you see a hand coming out of the clouds offering you a, a cup. Okay, so there might be something on offer that you're not seeing. Like I said, you might uh, they might find a loophole in the law so that you are you can be offered to take that choice or not. There's more ways to roam than one and there's also more choices than one. So be careful, be aware um, of what is being offered. And so don't keep looking on straight ahead, but look around you. Look deeper into things so that you can find the leap hole. Um, my allergies are working, so my voice doesn't sound right. It sounds more like I've got a cold. Anyway, you've also got a two here. So you've got a two here and you've got a two here. So again, the angels are showing you, they are there for you. That is on Friday. So you've got the two ones. You are making plans for the future or you're making plans perhaps uh, for something else. But it, that is what it means. You are also holding up the light. Perhaps the light might have switched on. This is what I'm getting. Perhaps you weren't switched on here, but you are switched on on Friday. There's a light burning, something is telling you, hey, hey, look at this, you should do that, or you should do this, you can do this, or you can do that. Woo, you, ha you have seen the light, as they say. <laughs> okay, so know that you're, you're making plans for something in the near future. And then you've got the Empress, and the Empress means fertility, means birth of a child or a project growth, blossoming and harvesting. So perhaps now you are harvesting something. Ooh, and that's what you're seeing. Perhaps you're harvesting the money because this is the first time you've done your tax return 
and you uh, you you've heard uh, <coughs> that uh, paying taxes negative and just everybody's always negative about it. But you can there's always a positive side to everything. So see what you can do. Perhaps you uh, get exempted from tax. This is what I'm getting because some of you might be studying, and you might have um, exemption from tax because. Um, the money that you would uh, get from the tax might go towards your study, s uh, study costs or something, so you will be exempted. So that could be a leap, loop, loophole. Uh, that is what I'm hearing. I don't know anything about tax. Okay, and the Empress is also again represents Libra. So you've got two cards that represent Libra. She's Mother Earth, so whatever she puts in the Earth, she the seeds, um, she waits until they blossom and then she can harvest. She will nurture them. So you, this co also means that you are making plans and you're nurturing your projects. You're nurturing your plans. You're waiting for it to grow. Like if you are doing a course, you are growing. You are nurturing it by learning things that's why you've chosen the course and you might be harvesting like I said you might be harvesting perhaps something is coming full term because this is the third term in the year and we've got number three so perhaps at the end of June that's the third term the uh, end of the third term you might be harvesting so in other words you might be passing your exams yoohoo and uh, wait for it I'm not going into depth I, I do go more into depth when I do a one-to-one -one reading I'm just doing it um, superficially like the week and the the, the, th the four corners but there's good news I'm already seeing it ta -ta 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 -ta. okay well I'll keep you in suspension Pisces Okay, so you might be passing your exams or passing something, and that could be your harvest. Something is coming to an end, okay? And like I said, justice. Y if you are in a judicial situation or in a legal situation, well, school is an institution, and uh, it is legal to go to school. You have to go to school or university. You will get your justice, your victory. Okay, now we start at this corner and we've got temperance. Like I said, you might be out of balance in the beginning of the week and you still might be um, finding it hard to balance um, in the week or during the week. Okay, we temperance is also Sagittarius and we start off with a fire sign, Aries. So again, another fire sign, Sagittarius. So you're trying to keep your balance, perhaps your work and school or work and home, your heart and your mind or your heart and your soul. Don't worry, it will be alright because you are taking care, you have the justice, you have all the people around you to help you, the mother figure, the father figure and if not you have um, a, a professional person, perhaps a doctor, or perhaps a, 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 like a bookkeeper, trying to help you keeping balance. You might try to, you might want to try to keep balance with your finances. That could be it as well. So that's what you need a bookkeeper for, and this could be the teacher that is helping you to balance um, the right way to get. Uh, to pass your exams and your mother I love this reading and we've got the lovers again you might meet a soulmate or you might be forming partnerships and this could be the Gemini <coughs> with a Gemini as the lovers is Gemini represents Gemini you'll be meeting your soulmate or you already have a partner and they are your soulmate but I think it could also be a partnership in business as we've been talking about legalities and um, people from action work okay now at this and 
you've got the two of wands so you've been making plans with your partner your soulmate and you are taking action with your soulmate in getting those plans fulfilled you might want to get pregnant and that's why you might be hearing of a birth of finding out you're pregnant if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions and what I'm saying is you you will pass you will pass your exams because you've got the three of Pentacles you have recognition you know you've got recognition for your hard work okay and I know it doesn't mean guarantee that you will pass your exam but when you've got recognition you know you can do it so go for it you are no longer the apprentice you have recognition you can go for that job okay action take action be creative see what is on offer not just in front of you but what is around you go deeper there's so many layers you can fulfill those plans for the future and now we've got the magical card not only that one but you've got the chariot and the chariot means victory so this is the card that says that you have passed your exams <coughs> you have victory in something because let's face it Pisces not all of us are 18 or 22 <laughs> so if you even if you're 65 or older uh, or 60 or 56 um, you have a victory in something or you could be planning to go on holiday or moving home and you're taking undertaking action because that's what the chariot means as well look at the Pegasus but here he is black usually Pegasus is white but he is black and the flames are flying from his wings so he's taking action yes he's jumping up to take off into the air and if you have an, your eye on a car it could be yours okay victory okay also a card of public recognition you're moving onwards and upwards you might not be seeing it so keep beware and keep on focusing on things what is happening around you the activities around you to bring you the victory it's not going to come by itself okay so keep the balance keep the balance by per, per, um, persevering and you and keep the balance Be, take it easy and active easy and rest and the rest and activity so keep the balance there okay love this reading I really do it's magic now you've got the angel card and the angel card is courage and faith yes have courage like the knight uh, or the king of wands go and strive for your victory the angels and are present and call upon you to be courageous draw on the trust in your deep faith spiritual beliefs and angels to assist you at this time ask the angels for help especially if you have to do examinations or it come bring plans to fruition by taking action and having success okay now you have noon Numbmite. The essential meaning of numbmite, <coughs> it looks like a comet, doesn't it? Achieving self mastery, inner power, recovering your senses of self. Wow. Achieving mastery. Okay, especially these two cards. Getting recognition evidence of progress can seem elusive at times but when numite spirit appears it is a sign that you might be underestimating how far you have come our minds are conditioned to pay attention 
to the negative and overlook all that is good in our lives, including the results of our efforts over time. You may not have received a big blue ribbon or parade in your honor, but the conscious universe acknowledges. Wow. and celebrates all your hard work, mastering your fears. And like I said, we don't all go to school or university, so we have um, won our fears. Okay, we have victory. Okay, that's the chariot. And that's cancer, that could be a cancer that has helped you overcome your fears. Make peace with the, p with the part of yourself that tells you that everywhere you, whatever you do, it will never be enough. You are developing mastery and there will be times when you feel as if your progress is slow and inadequate. But that's why I said persevere. But you are called now to acknowledge that you have indeed persevered learned much and not given up. Doing so will help you to stay the course rather than fear off track. Be gentle with yourself as you master the challenges you always seem to overcome. Somehow you are getting better at this thing called life. At building healthy relationships and prosperity <coughs> and at knowing and loving yourself as much as the conscious universe does. Give yourself credit and keep practicing. We are all learning and Numbmight Spirit is here to tell you that the conscious universe is watching and is so very proud of you. Recognition. Now I've also relationships the lovers. I've also got a message if you've got a question about love. And it's also to do with Numbmite. When it comes to your relationships with others, build trust in and intimacy is a process. Practice leads to results. For repetition, develop skills. Just as you engage in dance with a partner, leading and following. Stay present in the moment, listening to signs and signals and cues, and being clear about you what you need and desire. Yes, toes will get stepped on here and there, but it's how you and your partner deal win with uh, inevitable missteps that allows you <coughs> to develop a and closeness that can stand up to even the biggest challenges. Practice, practice, practice. Natus, no. Sorry, guys. And soon it will be second nature to express yourself in relationships in ways that reflect your highest appreciations for how you want to show up for others and what you want to experience. Cultivate love through practicing being loved. But remember you have to love yourself as well. So practice that first to love yourself and then you can love others also taking care of yourself. Now I've also got a pres prosperity message for you. Dig into the earth and you <coughs> you will soon realize that layers upon layers of soil and rock have built up over time. Mother Earth, layers and layers. It takes all kinds of steps from becoming a seed to harvesting. <coughs> and this is a lesson for how to build a foundation in the material world to help you feel more secure. 
Your true prosperity will always lie in your relationship with the conscious universe, your co-creator. Namite Spirit is here to remind you that no outer conditions will soon begin to reflect in your intention. <coughs> so how you feel if you take care of yourself, if you love yourself, um, you will be the beacon. It will start showing. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay. We'll soon begin to reflect your intention to own your natural b abundance. But you must practice the art of building wealth which might feel unfamiliar. Yes, it will feel unfamiliar. Um, everything new will feel unfamiliar. But you must try to learn to love yourself, respect yourself, take care of yourself. Because that will give you, that won't make you depressed. Like the Four of Cups, you might be depressed or bored. And that's why you usually withdraw. And then you might just dream or go to sleep or ponder. So get out of your head and just love yourself. Go out there. Tickle yourself sometimes by buying a new t-shirt or a dress. It might feel unfamiliar and uncomfortable to you. Take time today to honor yourself for how far you have come and the discipline you have shown uh, in methodically working to master your fears about not having enough and about not being up to the task of wealth building abundance within abundance without is what the conscious universe wants you to learn you are getting there in, in incrementally each time you commit to practice and consciously repeat the actions you know are healthy and in alignment with abundance. Mastery arrives from conscious repetition. So know what you need to do and do it. The conscious universe is with you. Now, like I said, it might feel uncomfortable um, uh, learning how to get the wealth towards you, the respect, the love. I know your mum and your dad will always love you, you know, unconditionally, but learn to love yourself and nurture yourself like the Empress does. And it will become familiar to you and comfortable. And n also, not only nurture yourself and love yourself, but by doing something for somebody else when you want to and when you can, that is also giving. So if you give something and you feel good, that is also nurturing you yourself. Because when you feel good, you are doing something that you like to do. And that is also looking after yourself. And remember, when you give something, you'll get it back threefold. But don't do it because you know you're going to get rewarded by getting it back threefold. Okay? Whatever you do good or bad, it will always come back to you. So just try to maintain the balance in not overdoing the good <laughs> because that will also bring you out of balance and if you do too little that will also bring you out of balance and you will feel it yourself. So listen to your gut feeling and those little ideas in your head. I hope you've liked this reading, Pisces. Take care and stay safe and I hope to see you in the life. Please give us the thumbs up and please share with family and friends. Thank you and have a beautiful week. Take care and God bless.